Hello friends, welcome. So in the previous video we learned how to install Vue.js on Laravel. And in this video now I want to show you how to fetch data from Laravel database using uh, Axios. For that, if I open the VS code, I have created inside the database, I have created the post migration with title and description as you can see here. Also on the factory we have I have created this post factory with title and description and then I have run the artisan migrate and there there's it to create some uh, fake posts. If I go in the seeder, yeah, here I have post factory one hundred create to create one hundred posts. Also you need to create the database and add here the username and the password. Good, after you have created the posts and also let's show you the side up model. Here I have the post model, empty. After that now let's go and inside the resources, the views we have this welcome with this div ID up and then inside we have the example which is the UGS component inside the app.js we have import, imported that example. What I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new component in the components here and I'm going to name it uh, or let's create first a folder. I'm going to create a folder here and I'm going to name it post and inside I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to name it post index.view. Let's say we set up here and what I'm going to do first, I'm going to import the Axios. I'm going to use Axios to fetch data. So import Axios from Axios. And let's say here on H1 all post. Then after the Axios here, I'm going to import from the view also the RF and the on mounted. And, and those are coming from UGS view core like this. Then let's create a constant for post, which is going to be equal and initially is going to be an RF with an empty array. Then I'm going to create a method to get all the posts. So let's say const, uh, I'm going to name it get posts like this, which is going to be an arrow function. And now let's use the axios get, and we need the URL to get the posts, and the URL is going to be inside the API, dash API slash posts. We are going to create that later. Then let's use then here. I'm going to say get the response. And after this response, I'm going to assign the posts dot value to be equal with the response dot data, what we get from there. Also, we are going to catch the error. Let it say catch for the error. And here I'm going to say just console dot log the error here. Like this. And I'm going to call on mounted. So just call that get post method. Okay, save and here now we need to, dis to make a v4 or post, but first let's open the terminal and what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a controller. So artisan make controller, give it a name and I'm going to name post index controller and it's going to be invocable. So select two here. Good. And now let's open the post controller. 
both index controller and for now let's say return post post return all the posts and we need to register the route for the api so go to the route api.php and here is where you can register the api route for your application remove everything and register a new route so route get and we navigate when we navigate the slash post because by default in here is slash api now we add just slash post and we have api slash post okay and here i'm going to use the post index controller class which is an invocable okay now let's go inside the app.js and instead of the example i'm going to import the post index from components slash posts slash post index view and say here post index like this and also here post index save go now inside the welcome and instead of example because right now we don't have the example if i go here yeah we have an error and we have an error from post index so import axios and here we need to say import rf from view so let's save okay now on the welcome in setup of the example let's use that post dash index and let's say as you can see now we have all posts the last thing is the display of the posts here so let's add a div and in this div i'm going to add a ul and inside here add ul and inside an li and i'm going to make a v4 and I'm going to say post in posts. Also add a key here. We need to add a key, which is going to be post.id. And let's add a S2 to display the post type. So we can say here post.title like this and hit save. And see now we have all the posts as you can see. Okay. But if I open the inspect elements and let's zoom it, let's go to the view here, go to the post index for the post as you can, on every post we have the created that description, ID, title, and the updated that. But I want, for example, only the ID and the title here. I don't want the description, the updated that, and so on. So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open the terminal and create, make a resource. So artisan, make a resource, and I'm going to name it post resource. Hit enter. Okay, now let's open that post resource and return here what we want to return so in my case i want the id and let's say here so i sign this id and also the title and let's say dollar sign this title here close this save now on the post index controller instead of returning post all let's cut this and let's return the post resource collection and pass here the post all if i save and then open here refresh now we have an empty here because in the post index post also has this data 
because we added the post resource with which uh, the post resource is going to wrap the post all in the data but what I want to show you is inside the object now we have only the ID and the title what we need the display here the, all the titles in the post index where we say post value people, people with res results dot data we need to add one more data here and hit save from here and yeah we have all the posts okay friends that's it about this video how to fetch the get post from the database using axios i hope you enjoy and if you like don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video all the best and see you in the next one thank you very much friends